Moving on now, I have a question for you. If you could close the gender pay gap, if you could ensure that men and women are paid according to merit and not their biological identity, would you take the opportunity to fix it? Instead of merely standing with those who protest the problem, wouldn't you strive to be part of the solution? Is it enough to express solidarity or should we go beyond simple tokenism to support women? I ask this question today because something big is happening in Iceland. Thousands of women, as well as non-binary people across the country, will stop work tomorrow. Tomorrow, the country will witness its first full-day women's strike in nearly 50 years. Women, both paid and unpaid, will join the historic strike for the first time in 48 years. It's no small development. This is major. It is meant to draw the attention of one of Iceland's biggest problems. It's widespread gender-based and sexual violence, it's ongoing gender pay gap. A whopping 90%, I repeat, 90% of Icelandic women will take a day off. They're calling it Kevnafri. It translates to take the day off. And they will be operating under the slogan, you call this equality? Around 40 different groups have organized this mass movement. Joining women in their effort to demand equal wage is the Prime Minister, Catherine Jakobdottir. Yes. You heard that right. The country has a female prime minister and she will also stop work for one day in order to join the protesters in demanding equal pay. Isn't that ironic that an acting prime minister has to join protesters? I mean, you're literally in the position of power. You could make the difference that you want to see. So then what's stopping you? Be the change you want to see. But Jakob Dotter is instead making the protest historic by joining the ordinary women in protesting. So what do the organizers want? Well, the core demand is simple. Value our work. Now, Iceland is considered a global leader on gender equality. It has stopped the 2023 World Economic Forum's global gender pay gap rankings for 14 years back to back. But the reality on ground is different. In some Icelandic jobs, women still earn 20% less than men. And over 40% women in Iceland have experienced gender-based or sexual violence. Not only that, some jobs traditionally associated with women, such as cleaning, caregiving, remain undervalued and underpaid. This is the unfortunate story of women in Iceland. If Iceland is supposed to be an example for the world, then I'm sorry. It is certainly not setting a good example. No country that is supposed to top the world in gender pay gap should have these metrics, these poor metrics. That's not what women around the world strive for. Because a country can truly be an equality paradise if half of the population is empowered, taken care of. And Iceland has a special responsibility in that regard. At least 25,000 people are expected to attend the mega rally. Many more will reportedly take part in 10 other events around the country. Here's hoping that the biggest women's strike of Iceland in 50 years counts for something. Because let me be frank, it's more expensive to give women higher wages. It's more affordable to simply join a protest. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.